Hello and happy Sunday, everybody. It's Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com again. And today is Sunday, March the 29th. And let's see, we are at the end of week two of everyone staying inside. And I understand that the president just said that we need to try and do this for a whole nother month, which works out great for us because we do this every week. So absolutely nothing different for us. We've been social distancing ourselves. We've been practicing for this for 167 weeks as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> but hopefully the comments will work tonight because I really don't want to look at my phone too. We have a lot to talk about. I know I say that every single time, but we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about, a lot of talking. And I've got my diffuser running in the background with some don't make me cough stuff. And I think that, I think the comments are not going to work because there's already nine of y'all here and nobody's saying anything yet. But anyway, I've got my diffuser running in the background. I've got a cough drop at the ready. I've got hot tea with honey. So hopefully we will not have a coughing fit tonight. Um, I was hoping that the rain would get rid of some of the pollen. <gasps> Yay, they are working. There's Barbara. Hello. Hello, Joyce. So hopefully the rain will get rid of some of the pollen because it is hideous, horrible. It is horrible. Hello. Let's, okay, so let's start over again. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Joyce. Hi, Carol Lou. Hello, Rosie. Um, and no, we are not with the fam at the, um, at the, uh, Casa de Bohannon campground. No, because Miss Bossy Bridges would have wanted to run this whole thing. So, no. So, we had to come back here for the chat. Hello, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. She is finally old enough. Alyssa is finally old enough that she understands what's going on. And she totally understands that we're talking to people um, when we're doing this. And no, she would want to be right in the middle of it. So, no, we came home for the chat. Hello, Tedders. Um, this is Sunday, March the 29th. If you were watching this live with us, hey, hello. I would love to say hello to you. Again, we've been practicing for this social distancing that apparently is going to continue for another 30, well, 30 more days beyond what it was until like, I guess, April 30th. We've been practicing on this, um, practicing for this for 167 chats. And I was just getting ready to say, if we have anybody new, please let us know so that we can welcome you. And ta-da, there's Christine. So everybody, please welcome Christine. It is her very first time watching live with us. Hello and hello, Sylvia. Um, oh, and Sandra wants to see my nails. Casey and I broke into some of the more glitter dips. Y'all have to ask her what the color is. I don't remember what the name is, but the glitter dips are like some of my favorites because they're clear underneath and you can either put them over a color or you can just use them plain with the clear. And I'm loving them just with the clear with the glitter dip on the end. Um, okay, so let's see. And hello, Trish from California. And thank you. And yep, y'all are welcoming Christine. And that is awesome. That's exactly what I want you all to do. So this is sunday april the 29th and it's april oh we've already made it to the end of april awesome just kidding hello sandy from northeastern kansas aloha kathy and hello penny it's been a long time but we are so happy to see you here and hello irma and irma here's the problem with the zoom app um there's a limit on how many people there can be before we have to um, before you have to pay for it and for how many minutes and it's a 40 minute limit and y'all know i can't just talk for 40 minutes so anyway uh oh lisa's sister's town was hit by a tornado last night no y'all know how i feel about tornadoes i'm so sorry so y'all do please pray for her um but if you're alive with us here tonight welcome um, would love to say hi and hello. Um, if you are, hello, Patty from Florida. If you're new with us, please do let us know that you're brand new because we would love to also welcome you um, to our little group, which gets bigger all the time. And um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. If you don't want to say hi, hello, and you don't want to see all the hi and hellos, those crazy people. We're, okay, we're social distance enough. <clears throat> Y'all need to say hello, okay? We need to be saying hello to each other. I'm just saying. Um, but if you don't want to see them, just grab that little scroll bar and drag it over to about 10 minutes because that's when it kind of dies down. Otherwise, please tell me hello. Please say hi. I had somebody say hello. I had a couple of people say hello on YouTube this week. And I had a couple of people say hello on the blog. It's if you have an egg.com. And that makes me happy when y'all do that. And hello, Sherry from Connecticut. So we have a busy, busy week. Um, I don't know about you all, but social distancing has not slowed me down any. I don't know. It has a little bit at night. John and I have actually been spending time together um, at night and we have managed to watch a Disney movie. I don't know. We've probably watched four, four or five. So hello, Gina from Columbia. Um, and we, John is like the smartest guy ever. 
And so, oh wait, hold on. It's Katie's first time watching live, Katie, but it's K-A-T-Y, so she, and she's from Minneapolis. So everybody say hello to Katie and let her, um, and welcome her. Hello, Penny from Western Kansas, who is hoping that everybody's being safe. And hello, Dawn, it's Dawn's first time. So everybody say hello to Dawn, hello. Welcome you all, y'all are egglets. So I know you don't know what that means. Somebody please explain what that means to them. Um, because I won't have time to. But um, John is the smartest guy ever uh, since we can't go camping. And now they've closed the national parks around here. So we can't even go camping like around here if we want to. I um, mean, we have neighbors who searched for a couple of different places um, to go camping. So we were trying to think, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Hello, Carla from Northwest Tennessee. You know, what can we do? So John, to have a special weekend and to be prepared just in case we do have to go um, into hibernation, an unwilling hibernation. Um, hello, Jackie from Jackson, North, uh, New, North Jackson, New Jersey. <clears throat> and hello, Kathy from Iowa. Yeah, but just in case, he went ahead and set up our camper in Casey and Allen's backyard. So at the Casa de Bohannon um, campground, we have our camper is set up and he put it somewhere where it can stay relatively dry and we can leave it up for a long period of time. And Alyssa loved it. She absolutely loved it. So if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the video um, of the camper setup and you can see, um, yeah, so you can see the videos of the camper setup and all of the fun that we had. So, yeah, okay. Okay, so we are, we so we are, I guess we're going to keep distancing ourselves for at least another 30 days. Hello, Mar uh, Marlene from Largo, Florida. But, and yes, Sylvia, he's awesome, I know. So we, um, we've been practicing for this. So if you're new with us, if you're watching this later on YouTube, we do this every week. So every single week. I think I've only skipped like three or four weeks in 167. This is chat number 167. Um, and I think I've only missed like three, maybe four maybe four weeks. And did somebody named Marlene sneak in? Hi, Marlene, if you snuck in. And, and hello, Wendy, or Popsicle snuck in too. I see her now, but she snuck in. Um, and yes, Lynn, she did have a ball. Um, so, what was I saying? Anyway, we do this every single week. I've only missed a couple, and the couple that I've missed it for are with the day that Alyssa was born. You know, it's kind of stretching, kind of pushing it, you know. And if you're new with us and you don't know who, and you don't know who Alyssa is or who Casey is or who Alan is or who John is, you're going to have to ask some of the ladies that have been here for a while. Um, has anybody been here for all 167 chats? I would be shocked. But if you have, give me a thumbs up. So we're here live tonight. Um, we're here live tonight. So live, you can do thumbs ups. You can do hearts. You can do happy smiling faces. We don't do frowny faces and we sure don't do angry faces. We really don't do angry faces here, okay? Even if it's something that you're upset with, you don't. we don't do angry faces. You can just talk to me about it later. Um, but so thumbs ups or hearts, but is there anybody though, I'd like for you to actually mention it. So if there's anybody who has been here, all 167 chats, that would be insane. I have, I've been here. I've been here for all 167 of them. Woo but anyway, so new people, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, we do do this every week with the exception, I think, again, I've missed like four. So even if we do go into unwilling hibernation, I'm just going to call it hibernation because sequestering seems, I don't know, that seems harsh. But if we do go into unwilling hibernation, which I've got to tell you, I'm an extrovert, I will go unwillingly, unwillingly, they will have to tie me down and we'll have to keep doing this. So, um, but if we do do that, as long as we have power. As long as we can keep talking to each other, I may not be able to cook anything if I run out of food, but um, but as long as but as long as we can keep doing this, I'll keep doing this every week. So y'all are stuck with me every single week. Okay. So before I babble on too much, um, <clears throat> this is chat number one sixty seven. Today is March 29th, two thousand twenty. We are, I think, at the end of week two of this COVID nineteen mess. Um, First thing I want to say is congratulations. You all have saved. I was going to get an exact total, but I'm it's I'm pretty close. It's like 300 and it's like 317, 318. Of course that's not divisible by 17. I'll come up with the exact number, but you all have saved a boatload of paper towels by by purchasing the Swedish dishcloths from Casey and I. Um, you can get those online at kckitchencenter.com. It's the letter K, the letter C, kitchencenter.com. Or if you go to, if you have an egg.com and go to the shop area, you'll eventually find it. 
Um, Facebook won't let us share it because I'm in Facebook jail for some reason. Anyway, but y'all have saved, oh gosh, I'll have to figure it up, but it's like 300 and probably, it's probably getting close to 400 um, paper towels because each Swedish dishcloth saves 17 rolls of paper towels. And hopefully everybody saw my video about how to sanitize with it and how to make sure everything's clean about little spots, little areas that you don't think of because we keep coming in and washing our hands and washing our hands and washing our hands and washing our hands. But before we start washing our hands, we've already, we've touched the faucet handles, we've touched the doorknob, we've touched everything else. So if you didn't see that, go back and watch it. Um, it was on IGTV and, and thank you, thank you, thank you from my heart for everyone who has purchased them. Um, you really are helping to support Casey and I. Um, this is a tough time for all Americans and the entire world. Um, it is a tough time for everybody. I don't, again, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago. I don't care what uh i don't care who you are where you live what you do for a living how much money you have or don't have whether or not you have your stockpile of toilet paper i don't care who you are this is tough on everybody so we do sincerely thank you um for supporting us every little bit helps um because we are the owners of two small businesses and that's all we got so okay anyway thank you all for saving that um you can go to kckitchencenter.com or if you have an egg.com and find those last week who, because we can't sit our bottoms in a chair. So last week, who attended a Zoom meeting? If you attended a Zoom workshop, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, that's the way y'all answer me. So because we're live and I can see what y'all are saying, thank goodness tonight, um, but I can't read every single one of them um, or I will get distracted. That's another thing. New people, if you all ask certain questions and get me distracted, I will go way off on a tangent other than the subject that we were supposed to be on. So the way you answer me is through thumbs ups and through hearts. Most of the questions I'm gonna ask are either gonna be a thumbs up or a heart. If you don't know how to find it, ask somebody. You can find it down here at the bottom. But if you attended a Zoom meeting last week, give me a thumbs up. Looks like a lot of you all attended a Zoom meeting. I'm so happy. And I hope that if you were confused about how to get there, that my instructions helped some. If you attended here with us last week, if you were live with us last week, or if you did both, that's a heart. <clears throat> and yes, Kathy, the Zoom meetings, after you get over the initial shock of the first one and realize that your phone your tablet and your computer all the stuff's in three different places it's in th three different places but it's super easy once you once you once you kind of get the hang of it and you're not nervous anymore then it's super super easy okay so lots of thumbs ups even more hearts so it looks like a lot of you all attended here with us last week or you did both so that is awesome i'm seeing lots of heart thumbs up thumbs up heart thumbs up heart thumbs up heart if you're watching this later on youtube it's just youtube.com search if you have an egg or if you were watching this on the or watching this well you could or if you're reading this on the blog if you have an egg.com which by the way jessica is doing an awesome job of getting those posted for you all those of you who like to print things out who like to print things and look at them later or read them she's doing a great job at that and um, in case you getting the youtubes posted good job girls good job thanks for your help um, but anyway, so if you go there um, and just do, just tell me, say you did both or you attended a Zoom meeting, you know, or whatever, I love to see your comments, but here are your Bravo stickers. So for those of you that are new to WW, or if you um, didn't realize that WW had stopped giving out Bravo stickers, which made me so sad, we still hand out virtual Bravo stickers, which again, we have been practicing for this whole quarantine thing for 167 chats. Who knew? Who knew? Because nobody can hand you a Bravo sticker right now. All they can do is give you a virtual one. So here are your virtual Bravo stickers. And I even wore my Bravo crown shirt. I know it's backwards, but I wore my Bravo crown shirt tonight. So there's you an extra Bravo, but Bravo's all the way around. Um, last week was chat number 166 and it was titled 10 tips for stocking your kitchen. Okay, with the news that the president just gave, I mean, it was like, I don't know, an hour before we started maybe, um, I'm a little nervous that people are going to go crazy again, that they're not going to uh, pay attention to last week's chat, um, that they're going to panic instead of planning. So we're all just going to remain calm and we're going to pay attention to last week's chat and we're going to plan and not panic. So last week was 10, t uh, 10 
tips for stocking your kitchen. So two weeks ago, we talked about what to stock in case of natural disaster. So I mean, it doesn't have to be a natural disaster, but like if you're going to be without the ability to get food for a couple of weeks, for like two weeks, and I had encouraged you all to, um, okay, Kim, we'll see you later. Um, I had encouraged you all to get two weeks worth of food. I'm still saying just two weeks. Okay, don't go crazy. You're going to be surprised. You're going to think it's two weeks worth of food. You you actually have, you actually probably have more than two weeks worth of, worth, of, worth of food. So two weeks ago, we talked about what to stock up on. Last week, we talked about how much to stock up on. So if you missed that one, you're going to want to go back and watch it, especially now with the new news. Um, so, but it's things that you need to have, easy supplies that you need to have on hand in case there's like a hurricane or like tornadoes because the people in Nashville that were hit by the tornadoes a few weeks ago, they're not getting any help right now because of all the COVID-19 stuff. Um, or they're not getting any extra help right now because of all that. Whoever had said that, was it in Arkansas that the tornado just went through? You know, you, you need to be a little bit prepared. So it could be any natural disaster. Um, it could be just a power outage. You know, if it's snow or something like that, and the power is going to be out for a few days or a couple of weeks um, if you're camping. So like we have supplies and John's already hooked up the refrigerator out, you know, in our camper in, in Casa de Bohannon uh, campground. He's already got that hooked up. It's a small refrigerator, but we could get by for over a week on that, for over a week on that. Um, and yeah, Kathy, you need to go back and watch the last two weeks um, or a pandemic. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. So this is the reason that we're doing it this week, but this works for all sorts of occasions where you may not be able to go out and get more food for about two weeks. Um, then so last week we focused on how you know how much to get how much to um, how much to get you know to keep on hand without panicking so your homework last week was hashtag plan not panic and let's see how you all did um so yeah and uh, barbara's power was out for nine hours today so remember we also talked about in the last two weeks we talked about not so much perishables okay because if your power's out you can't be opening and closing the refrigerator. Everything in the freezer is going to be, you know, if it's out for too long. So we talked about things to do, you know, without, if you're not going to have power also. Okay, so let's see how y'all did last week. Betty stocked up on peanut butter, canned chicken, and Triscuits. I like Triscuits. I haven't had those in a long time. But only enough for two weeks. And bonus, she made sure that they had enough dog food also. Trish made sure she had canned tuna and chicken. That sounds like a popular one. Eggs. Ole tortillas, and if you don't know what the Ole tortillas are, they are one point. You have to get the extreme wellness. I think, are there any other of the Olays that are one that are one um, smart point? Um, but the Ole extreme wellness, I know are, so she made sure she had those. And frozen berries. So it sounds like Trish loves frozen berries and something because she made sure that she had those. Sherry has various flavors of tuna packs on hand. Me too, Sherry. Me too. Um, as well as Stacy's pita thins. Haven't had those in a long time. Um, baby bell cheese, great one, and peanut butter. Peanut butter seems to be a very popular one. It's one of my favorites too. Michelle has a two week supply of eggs, tuna, and good thins. You could just live off of that. I mean, you could literally just live off of that. And you remember, we're all here because if you have an egg, you have hope. Mm -hmm. Deborah made her list right after the last, right after the live chat last week, and she took, she went ahead and took an inventory of everything that she had in her kitchen. So pantry, refrigerator, freezer. She went ahead and just took an inventory of everything and checked to see what she could make for breakfast, lunches, and dinners. And she figured out she's already got a two-week supply. She didn't have to go to the store. But and I promise you, at least half of us, at least half of us already have a two-week supply, and we just don't even realize it. John and I could probably, you know. I don't know, we could probably live for a month off of what we have here just in the, you know, just in the loft. Hello, Joyce from Ann Arbor. And somebody asked if it was storming um, here in Knoxville. Whoa, this morning, big storm, lasted about 15 minutes. And um, we were in the camper with Alyssa. Of course, you know, we took her out in the camper, left her parents in the house. And uh, it was lightning so much. The lightning was so bright near the camper that she threw her little arm up over her eyes to, to block it. But anyway bravo ladies bravo here are your extra bravo stickers you nailed your homework last week um keep it up there were many many more of you who did um who did your homework that i didn't get a chance to mention because there were so many of you and carol lou wants to know is it bad that i made sure i had enough wine it's not i don't drink wine but i don't blame you we had people here in our loft that were it was like wine craft beer and toilet paper 
<laughs> that was what they made sure. So we did a little survey to make sure that between all of us, you know, people who needed wine, they knew which loft to stop by. Uh, people who needed beer, they knew where to go. <laughs> you know, people that needed toilet paper, you know. So no, I don't think that's a bad idea. Um, and what we're going to talk about in the second half tonight, you know, you might need some of that wine. <clears throat> okay, this week's chat, I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of my hot tea. Okay, hot tea through a straw. Okay, this week's chat is 167. So this is chat number 167. It is titled, How to Create a New Routine. Hmm. Yeah, so I think WW made a like, oh, I think they made a quick change. Oh, and Jennifer's happy to be here. Hello, Jennifer. Um, Wait, did somebody say the liquor stores were closed? Oh, I just, Carol Lou, I just read the rest of your sentence. Your liquor stores are closed indefinitely? How does that even happen? How does that happen? Um, we have carry out beer here. Don't drink beer, but we have carry out beer. Like not open, but you can go by and just pick it up. Okay, anyway, so I don't care who you are, what you do, where you live, um, what your routine was over the, you know, over the last two weeks, it's changed. It's changed. Even WW's routine has changed. So you know this is not what they had planned for the topic this week. There's no way that two weeks in a row it just happened to be what we're in the middle of right now so even their routines have changed some of the changes are good i've seen um neighborhoods that are doing scavenger hunts i've seen oh there was somebody today there was a neighborhood they showed today that had um a, a guy who used to be part of ringling ringling brothers barnum and bailey circus he put on a circus in their in their cul-de-sac um everybody stayed away from each other though um, I've seen people outside. I've seen, um, we've seen reports, all have seen reports of cleaner air in places, um, animals and fish and birds and things returning to places where they had not been, you know, for years and years and years. People that are rallying around the people that keep us safe and the people who feed us, but normally go unnoticed. You know, we're rally, rallying around the small business restaurants that, you know, have been keeping us fed. And we, you know, we would just take them for granted. We've been rallying around our healthcare providers nurses you know the people that are kind of on that front line and checking on them okay but some of the routines some of the routines though need to be reset so like we're not doing the same thing every day that we that we always do um so some of the things are going to have to change oh some of us our routines have been flipped upside down i mean completely upside down i'm used to being with people all day every day all day every day um some of us, our routines are similar. Those of you moms with kids that you're having to suddenly, you've become a homeschooler. Did you ever think that you were going to be a homeschool mom? Your routines have changed a lot. But some of the routines need to be reset. Some of them need to be revamped. And some of them just need to plain be remade. So you just need to pick a routine and just remake it. Three things that we had on our weekly this week which, by the way, uh, we're going to be posting later. Orlando Debbie was kind enough to send us the link to um, the link to show you how to pull up the weekly so that it's in a printable form. And it's funny because it's suddenly printable again. Um, but she uh, she was kind enough to share that link with me and instructions on how on how to do that. So we will be putting this in the chat notes. Hello, Andrea. So we'll be, um, or Andrea, so we, as we have been calling you um, in the showroom since you, since you placed your order, Andrea, for some reason, your name had to be fancier than just Andrea. I don't know why. Anyway, um, but so we'll be posting that in the notes. So tomorrow or Tuesday when Casey and Jessica get the YouTube videos up and they get the notes um, transcribed and posted on ifyouhaveanegg.com, we will include that link from Orlando Debbie. Thank you, Orlando Debbie. Um, of how to go back and pull these up. And I think she said that you can go back to like March. I don't remember what day she said, but um, but anyway, it started. So you can do this now. But in your weekly for this week, um, they mentioned three things. And since I love things that come in threes, I just went with that. Well, I went with theirs this week. Um, the first thing is to decide what's really important and focus on that. So um, some of the stuff's just going to have to go. You're just going to have to let it go. Like being perfect. Being perfect is not really important right now. If your kids, if you suddenly have kids at home and you're homeschooling them and you're not a teacher, you're not a teacher, it's okay. You don't have to be perfect. Um, I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to be perfect um, in, um, uh, you know, making sure that the showroom is ready for people to come in right now because that's not important. There's no one there. Uh, but just decide what's important and focus on that. Number two was to adapt to new schedules 
regulations and the ever-changing so before the chat started i had already written all this down and before the chat started we thought we all thought well not all of us but anyway we were told that this should be over within a couple of weeks we should be good to go now we're told it's going to go through the end of april so hopefully so be ready to change again so you're going to have to adapt to the new schedules the new regulations the new ever changing what you know whatever that is this will end someday i can't tell you when it's going to be the president can't even tell you when it's going to be this will end someday and guess what you will have learned new skills that are going to be darn handy when you need to change plans you know on a dime um when you need to be able to react quickly to something um you know you're going to have new skills you know through this you know this this gut-wrenching time but it will make us stronger on the other side so you're going to have some new schools new skills which you'll be able to rely on so you're going to have to learn to adapt to the new schedule you know and get ready for that number three make a plan <sighs> so sometimes that's easier said than done but even if it's just for one day um it doesn't have to be we don't have to be talking about meals this could be for anything even if you make a plan just for one day write it write it down but write down a routine that you know you can stick with um, if you need help with that, we have a couple of options. Um, first of all, how yummy do these air fryer tater tots look? Yeah, so that, that recipe looked really, really yummy. Go back and print this out. We will put the directions for how to do that in the chat notes on ifyouhaveanegg.com. There is also an article, and you should be able to find this at any time, but there is an article on WW, um, and it, it, the article was titled, How to Create a New Routine When You're Stuck at Home, because a lot of you have never been stuck at home. Fortunately, we have a private place that we can go to to work, that Casey and I can go to to work, um, where we can be there with no one else, um, or I would go crazy in these little four walls. Um, but anyway, so go ahead and print that one out. Um, it does have a hyperlink to some other things. And they also posted, WW posted a My Daily Schedule, and they gave you some ideas here, you know, of how to do your new daily schedule. And 7 a.m. said, wake up. You know, you might need to remind yourself, let's go ahead and still get up every day at 7. 7.30 says skincare, coffee, and brush teeth. This is not ridiculous. This is good to keep in mind. 8 a.m. is log in and get to work. So if you're at home, go ahead and get dressed, get ready, brush your teeth. Um, Gwen said something funny this last week. Um, she said during her uh, uh, her virtual workshop, her, her Zoom workshop, that there was one day this week that it was like 11, and she realized, huh, I haven't had a shower or brushed my teeth because that's just part of her normal, because she's a go, 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 WWer, um, as part of her normal routine. But they even pr left you a blank one so that you can fill this out. Hello, Sandra, so that you can fill this out um, yourself. And you can see, I even wrote in a few things. Of course, I only, I only committed to three, but I wrote down uh, Monday for dinner. We're gonna have uh, Winstar Karen's Buffalo Chicken Dip. I have everything I need to make that. Um, Tuesday for dinner, I haven't penciled in yet because I wanna look and see what we have. And Wednesday for dinner, we're gonna have a clean out freezer fun. So I don't know what that's gonna be because I don't know what's in there yet. But Wednesday, we are gonna have clean out freezer fun and hopefully I'll have time to post it. Okay. So go check those out. Go print them. Hello, Rita. Um, your homework this week is actually at the end of the second half. So I normally, new girls, I don't think we have any guys tonight, but new girls and maybe guys, um, normally at the end of the first portion. So we do 30 minutes of workshop and then we do 30 minutes of extra credit. Um, sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's food. Um, it'll be a little tight on the food um, while we're having to I don't want to say ration things, you know, while we're trying to have to be careful and we're going to be super, 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 super careful with our budget. Um, but normally at the end of the first 30 minutes is when I announce your homework. When you do your homework, I'm going to give you, sometimes I'll give you a hashtag, something to, you know, to do. Um, sometimes, like last week, it was hashtag plan, not panic. Um, sometimes I'll just give you a, um, you know, a thought or, you know, something to do your homework. But when you tag me in the homework, you're always going to tag me on Instagram. You're going to tag at if you have an egg. If it's here on the group, on the public page, you're going to tag at if you have an egg and it should pop up and let you tag me. If you are in our closed group and you tag me, just um, do at the at symbol, um, Kelly Green Milligan. And by the time you get to the group, it should pop me up. And if it's on connect, it's at scrap and stamp two S C R A P N S T A M P and the number two. Or if you want to tell me about your homework on YouTube or on ifyouhaveanegg.com or just comment, I will see it. So 
I'm not going to tell you what your homework is yet, though, because it'll blow the surprise for the second half. So, ladies that are here with us every week, and I don't think anybody said that they had been here all 167 chats. Oh, well. Um, but ladies who are here every week know what time it is. Y'all give me just a quick break to get some water, which today the water is hot tea with a little bit of honey in it. Um, but I'm doing a good job of not coughing. And um, the pollen was still hideous today. Uh, I think they said on the news this morning, the pollen levels were like extremely high. Um, but I'm hoping that the rain, you know, kind of knocked it down and I have my diffuser going. So if you've never made a diffuser, and yeah, uh, Barbara's saying hot tea. So I think this is hot. I'm pretty sure that's hot, Barbara, but I don't know what tea. Do I know it? No, wait, somebody told me <gasps> tea. I do know it. Hot tea. Is that correct? Where are my sign language people? I think it's hot tea instead of water. Okay, so it's time for the hot tea. And give me just a second. Okay. Okay. And we are back. So this is part two, uh, part two of chat number 167. Chat number 167 was how to create a new routine. So if you missed the first part of the chat, um, or if you decided on YouTube that you were just going to watch the second part, if you are still living during the times of COVID-19, um, if this is not six months from now or a year from now or whatever, um, then you are going to want to go back and wait. Oh, like that. Okay. So hot. It's like this hot. Okay. So sorry, Sylvia's correcting me. It's hot. So it's like starts like that and then turns away from your face. So you're saying hot. It's like hot and then tea. Correct. Am I correct on the tea? Oh, I hope so. Okay. Anyway, so mm -hmm. if you're watching this, if you decided just to watch the second half, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to want to go back and watch the first part because we were talking about um, how to reset your, you know, how to um, create a new routine because we're all going to have to have a new routine. Don't care who you are. You're going to have to have one. The second half. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Sylvia. Sylvia says I got it correct. Um, so the second half, okay, the second half of tonight's chat, tonight's chat, the extra credit. Okay, it's going to start out a little, hmm, I just need y'all to hang in with me, okay? So I need you to hang in there with me. So everybody raise your hand and say, I know what Kelly's getting ready to say. It's going to be a little sad, but I'm going to hang in there because then we're going to have some fun, okay? So we already discussed this is the end of the second week of COVID-19 chaos um and last week here in knox county sorry hold on last week here in knox county um the knox county health department and the city mayor asked all knox villians so everybody in knox vegas they asked all knox villians to observe a safer at home order so safer at home does not mean that we are um isolated or um what did I say early? Hibernated or whatever to our houses. So safer at home does not mean that. Safer at home though means that we are all to take um, extraordinary precautions to not go near other people than the immediate people that were already around, to stay six feet away from each other, um, no crowds greater than 10, um, and, and they closed all non-essential businesses. So that means all hair salons. So I'm trying not to color my hair during this time. I'm trying to just see what happens if I go au naturel. Um, Y'all have to let me know how it's looking, you know. Anyway, so hair salons, nail salons, um, restaurants, um, places like that. All non-essential businesses are closed. Um, if you can do carry out, um, curbside, delivery, you know, something like that, right now they're still allowed to operate. So that, mean, that meant some tough, tough, tough decisions, tough decisions for business owners meant tough decisions for moms, for dads, for health professionals, and most importantly for the everyday people who were already, some of them, some days, some of them, some days just struggling um, to make it through a normal day, much less all of this, okay? So that was a hard, hard decision. Then a week later, um, so it was two, I'm sorry, it was two weeks ago that, the, um, that they announced that, then a week later or a few days later, whatever, our Knox County public health officer 
was on TV and she was choking back tears. I mean, she literally, like it was hard to watch. She was choking back tears as she announced that here in Knox County, we have a shocking rise um, in, the, in the number of suspected suicide deaths. So this is the part where you just gotta hang in with me for a few minutes, okay? Just, just hang in with me, I promise we're gonna have some fun. Um, but she, I mean, she was choking, she was choking, I mean, choking back tears. So I know this was not part of the job description when she applied for this. Um, I know that this was not something that she ever thought that she would have to prepare for, decide on, you know, whatever. Um, our mayor is a brand new mayor. Um, she's a younger woman. Um, she's a mom. Um, this, these are hard decisions for them. So, um, but the suicide rate has, it's just, it's an unprecedented escalation. So while she is trying to decide, you know, what, what's best for everybody, you know, for, for all of us, um, sadly, it's having an effect on some of us. Okay, my heart breaks for our leaders that are having to make these decisions. These are some hard, hard decisions, but I need you to listen to me though. Um, they are trying to find, you know, they're trying to find what is that happy medium, you know, for the greater good. I'm not here to condone it. I am not here to condemn it, okay? So this is not the point of this part of our of our chat tonight. Um, so if you comment either way, I will delete it. This is not this is not uh, I'm this is I'm not opening up a discussion on whether it's right or wrong, good or bad, you know, whatever. You just keep that to yourself, you know, and keep that in your own heart and pray about that yourself. Okay, what I am saying though, so let's not start a debate on this. What I am saying though, and what I am here for for the next I had written 25 minutes. I have 24 minutes, so yeah, I'm right on time. What I am here for for the next 24 minutes is to make sure, though, that you, you're the only people I have any control over, um, even though I don't control you, but you're the only people that I have any effect on, you know, for this. So for the next 23 minutes now, because I won't stop talking, um, is to, I'm here to make sure that your that you're keeping a check on your mental health and the mental health of your family your friends your neighbors um because it's hard it's hard for people who are happy it's hard for people who have a great uh, positive outlook it's hard for people who don't already suffer um you know from you know issues like that you know emotional issues depression things like that so again not opening up a debate for talking about the big picture political scene, you know, don't talk about it because I'll delete you. I'll delete your comment. What I am here for, though, is to make sure that you are taking care of your mental health and not just your physical health and weight loss. OK, so this is what we're going to do for a little bit of mental health. Here's what we're going to do. How do we have. So how do we do? How do we have a mental health check um, when I'm all the way over here? and you're all the way over there. So how do we do a mental che health check when we do that? We play a game. Okay, so I told you the first however many minutes, seven minutes, was kind of sad news. And, and, we, and it's serious, it's serious. So we're gonna play a game. We're gonna play a game so that we can make sure, and yes, air hugs for everybody, but we're gonna play a game so that we can make sure that everybody is taking care of their mental health today, okay? You know, forget food health right now, forget don't really forget it, but we are going to play. We're going to play a game. So first, I need everybody to grab a piece of scrap paper and a writing utensil, just in case you're at risk of um, getting lost. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Um, so everybody, grab either a scrap, uh, grab a scrap piece of paper, or the back of an envelope, you know, something like that, and a writing utensil. <coughs> Jessica will, <coughs> excuse me, Jessica will get this printed for you. So, or she'll get it typed up for you so that you can print it out. So you don't necessarily have to put this on something that you're gonna keep forever, but just in case you get lost in this, cause we're gonna go fast. Okay, so does everybody have something to write with just in case? And thank you all for sending each other virtual hugs and I feel them too. Okay, so that was number one. Number one was find a piece of scrap paper and a writing utensil. And there's Dusty. <clears throat> Number two, it's a scavenger hunt. Okay, so to make sure you're taking care of your mental health, we are going on a scavenger hunt. So we're going to look for things in your own home or wherever you have sheltered in place or are safer at home or have hibernated or whatever. We're going to go on a scavenger hunt. 
if the items that I'll tell you are handy, so if the items on this list, if they are handy for you to grab, like if you can go, hey, I can go grab that and I can come right back, then go grab them because I want you to have them. I want you to have them ready when we get done, okay? So who's ready? So give me some thumbs ups if you're ready because I want everybody to play. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, you can still play. If you're reading this later on if you have an egg.com, excuse me, don't skip ahead. Don't skip ahead. Just go in order. Okay, so it looks like several of you are back and ready, or you're ready. Okay, item number one I want you to go find a t shirt, a t shirt from a race, a t shirt from a walkathon, a t shirt from a fundraiser a t-shirt from um, some event like that or something that has words on it like like mine, bravo, or winner, or you go girl, or something like that. So something, some a t-shirt that has a positive message. So like bravo, winner, a race t-shirt, a fundraiser. You know, if you participated in a fundraiser, if you participated in a race, if Teresa's here, she should have a million of them she's like the marathon queen <clears throat> but some so some kind of a fundraiser okay so is everybody back everybody's running to go find your t-shirt right or if you didn't go get your t-shirt you know where one's at so if you have one and if you don't have all these things it's okay it's okay so that was number one number one was a t-shirt from a race of fundraiser or that has some inspirational uplifting word on it okay so let me know when y'all are back Thumbs ups if you've come back. Ah, Carol Lou's already got one. She was doing laundry. I was lucky. Okay, so Carol's back. See, a couple of y'all are back. Looks like Joyce is back. Okay, item number two, an index card or a note card. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. This one happens to have Mimi on it. <coughs> so an index card or a note card, just a blank one. Surely y'all have these laying around everywhere, especially from when we did our index card swaps, but you want it to be a blank one, okay? So grab number two is an index card or a note card. Looks like Sylvia's back. So let me know when you've got your note cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Lynn has a church t-shirt. That is perfect. Perfect. Okay, let me know when you've got your index cards. Janice's t-shirt is still packed. That's okay. You know where it's at. And Kathy was writing on her note card. So, Kathy, but you still have a blank side, right? Okay, Sylvia's got it and Lynn's got it. Okay, number three, a pair of glasses. Okay, a pair of glasses. And you get bonus points if instead of glasses, if you actually have a magnifying glass. I have one at work to be able to see people's layouts. But, um, but if you're not at work or if you have them on, that still counts. So, a pair of glasses or bonus. And they don't have to be your glasses. <coughs> or bonus if you happen to have a magnifying glass you get extra you get extra points and betty has colored index cards so she's getting fancy on us okay so glasses or a magnifying glass and somebody let me know if you found a magnifying glass because you get extra points barbara's got hers oh sylvia's got her walking to end alzheimer's t-shirt perfect 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 sylvia's got her glasses okay so glasses or bonus points for a magnifying glass Ah, and Susie's got her Wego t-shirt. Is Wego really inspirational? <laughs> Wego. <gasps> Haley has glasses and a magnifying glass. Kathy has a magnifying glass. Carol Lou has, is wearing glasses and she's got a spare just in case. What? Joyce has got a magnifying glass. Betty has four pairs of old glasses. I know, I have glasses everywhere, Betty. Everywhere. Lynn's got her glasses. Betty, Betty glasses. Alicia has a Halloween outreach t-shirt. That is awesome. Ooh, Lacey has a magnifying glass. Rosie has a magnifying glass from her grandkids bug collecting set. That's perfect. Perfect. Sandy's got both. Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm going to have to skip on to the next person. Okay. Uh, then a pair of tennis shoes. So tennis shoes, just a little lesson. Anything that you use to walk, run, play basketball. Oh gosh, Kimberly's got two sets of magnifying glasses. Walk, run, play basketball, not necessarily play tennis. Round here, those are all called tennis shoes, okay? So these, if you call these sneakers, if you call these running shoes, if you call whatever you call the, whatever you call these 
lace-up shoes that you put on your feet, which I guess all shoes go on your feet. But anyway, these lace-up shoes. And Sandy's got her egg lady told me to shirt. How funny. And Marlene's got her magnifying glass. But anyway, so lace-up shoes. We call them tennis shoes. Okay, so find those. And if they have socks already in them, bonus points for that. <coughs> and Alicia's got hers on. Awesome. Okay. Stacy's got her glasses and her magnifying glass. Awesome. Yep. Sherry's are near her door. Okay. So hopefully everybody's got some of those. And oh my gosh, Susie's Wego t-shirt was her the first time she ever ordered anything on anything online. That's hilarious. Okay. Okay, and Carol Lou wants to know if I'm in her house because everything I have said so far is sitting next to her. That is so weird. Lynn's got her tennis shoes. Marlene's has her sneakers. Okay, the next thing, a fork. Everybody needs to go find a fork. And I don't care if it's a big fork, a little fork, a kid's fork, a three-tined fork, a four-tined four fork, a broken fork. I don't care. Just a fork. Everybody needs a fork. I'm just checking my time. So everybody go run, grab a fork. Surely everyone has one of these. Oh, Lynn's got socks in her tennis shoes. Very good. I always have socks in mine. Always. Okay, forks. Has everybody got their forks? And everybody has a fork, right? Yep, Alicia's got her fork because the dinner table is set. That is awesome. What time is it there, Alicia? It is 8.46 here. Or is that dinner for tomorrow night and you're just that well prepared? Okay, forks. Okay. Sherry's got her fork because she's in the kitchen. Very good. Very good. Okay, yep. Looks like lots of you all have your forks because I'm seeing some thumbs ups. Okay. A phone. Doesn't have to have Ariel on the case, but a phone. And you get bonus points if your phone is still connected to a wall. Uh oh, Carol Lou said stop because she's eating watermelon with her fork. Carol Lou, I am not at your house, honey. And even if I was, I'd have to be six feet outside. <laughs> but a phone, everybody needs a phone. Doesn't matter if it's a iPhone, Android, whatever. <laughs> and Trisha says, everybody needs to take a picture of themselves wearing it or holding it and post it on your Facebook page. So on mine, that would be awesome. That would actually be really, really awesome. So would that not be hilarious for you all to take a picture with all of your stuff and don't say what it's for and just post it on there and let the people who did not come to the chat tonight go, what are they doing? What are they doing? Okay, so it looks like everybody has got their phone. Sherry's using hers to watch us, but that's okay because you have it. You have it. And Kathy has both kinds of phones. So you have one, oh, and Tammy's is plugged in. So you all have phones that are plugged. You, no, I mean like, I don't mean plugged in like to power. I mean like, like a phone that's attached, like, like it's a jack, like you've got it plugged in in a jack in the wall. Not like it's plugged in like to power. Okay, so everybody's got a phone it looks like. Okay, the next thing is stickers. Oh, and Alicia says it's 546 in, Ohio, in Idaho. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so stickers. Don't care what kind they are, but stickers. This one might be a little bit more of a challenge. So it doesn't have to be. Oh, and Janice does have a phone that plugs into a jack. Awesome. And Kathy's got one that plugs into a jack. That's a, that's cool. A wall phone. Yes, Sylvia. It doesn't have to be hanging on a wall, but yeah, but you get bonus points. You know, there's no price for this, right? So I don't know what kind of points I'm handing out, but but stickers, they do not have to be stickers for kids. They can be stickers stickers for grown-ups. So they can be, you know, stickers that you put on envelopes or mail that you're sending out or Bravo, Bravo stickers. If you have Bravo stickers, that would be good. Sandra's got lots of stickers. Okay, so obviously I have Disney stickers. I have, what is it? Let's see, this was from Riverside from, oh, when we went last time, they had the, the gondola system was getting ready to open up. Um, so that one's from, I'm sorry, from the Riviera. And then a Mickey and a junior security. Quick story, the junior security one, we got, I got because that trip, that last trip, every single park, every single day, didn't matter how many, didn't matter how many parks we went into that day or that week, I had to go through the extra security line. I got pulled every single time and so one of the times i finally told the guy you know this is like the fifth time that i've had to go through the extra security line and you know i should at least get a sticker or something so he gave me a security sticker 
anyway so i kept it okay so uh, carolou how did you just hear that disney's been closed for two weeks now john what was the last day that disney was open two Fridays ago so they so yeah sorry yeah Disney closed two Fridays ago and then they then they shut their started shutting their resorts down and everything but yeah yeah you know it's the end of the world I'm just kidding it's the end of the world if Disney is closed but anyway okay so everybody's got their stickers wait Carolou says they said indefinitely no it's just Carolou Disney's not closed indefinitely it's just until this can all get back up again I promise you Disney's not closed forever forever they just don't know when to say because if they say oh we're planning on opening April the 20th and then, you know, and then the president, you know, gives some more news like that, then people will be, anyway, that's a whole other conversation. So I'm going to get off of that. Okay. So that just means that it's, it'll open when it opens, but I promise someday it will open. Okay. So everybody's got their phone. Everybody's got their stickers. Okay. Number eight. So number seven with stickers. Number eight is a book or a puzzle or bubbles. So everybody needs to go get, yes, and indefinitely just means they can't say when it's going to reopen. That doesn't mean it's closed forever. That just means they can't, they don't have a date. They have no date, so they can't say when. So no date equals indefinitely. So all of this is indefinitely right now, all of it. Okay, so a book, a puzzle, or bubbles. Okay, so has everybody got a book, a puzzle, or bubbles. <coughs> that counts. Yeah. Alicia's got a crossword puzzle book and a Sudoku book. So, and Kathy has a book of puzzles. So that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sandy says, does a Kindle count? It counts if you promise me you won't look at the news on it. And that'll make sense in a, in a minute. Lacey wants to know about a diamond painting. That sounds fun. Sure. Crossword puzzle book for Carol Lou. Sounds good. Lacey's got her book. Yep, just something that's not going to be watching the news, okay? Ma oh, and Marianne's got all three of them because her grandkids have been there. Susie, a coloring book works fine. Lynn's got a book. Coloring book definitely works. Yeah, coloring book is good. Okay, and then number nine is a watch with an alarm. It doesn't have to be a watch. It could be... Okay, Sylvia, Audible counts as long as you won't switch over and listen to the news or watch the news, okay? And I'll tell you why here in just a second. So a watch or your phone or something like that that has, a, um, that has an alarm. So something that you can set an alarm on, okay? So that's the last thing. That's number nine. So number one is a t-shirt from a race, church, a fundraiser, something inspirational, something like that. Number two is an index card. So mine was my Bravo shirt. Number two is an index card, a note card, something like that. Rosie says a kitchen egg timer. Mm, doesn't have enough time on it, so maybe not. Um, number three is a pair of eyeglasses, or those of you who had a magnifying glass have a bonus, bonus points. Um, number four was a pair of tennis shoes, sneakers, whatever you call those. Number five is a fork. Number six is a phone. Number seven was stickers. Number eight is a book, a puzzle, or bubbles. <clears throat> and number nine is a watch or something like this with an alarm. Okay, so what on earth? How many of you had all nine things? So was there anybody that had all nine of the things? And since I can see in Carol Lou's house somehow, I know that she did. Just kidding. So who had, did anybody have all nine, all nine things, all nine items on your scavenger hunt? Anybody, 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 anybody? Let me see him some thumbs ups. Yeah, Carol, I knew you did, Carol, because I can see in your house. Remember? Anybody else have all nine? I'm seeing some thumbs ups, so I'm thinking so. Sylvia had all nine of them. And yes, Carol, and look, Carol, I can wink with both eyes pretty sure that's something special anyway Sandra had all nine. Oh, Sandy had eight just out of curiosity which one were you missing Sandy Marlene had all nine I'll let just a couple more people answer okay did anybody have at least didn't then who had oh Lynn had all nine who had at least five so give me some hearts if you had at least five Susie had all nine 
some hearts or answer oh andrea on on there who had at least five i'm seeing some hearts so a lot of y'all had at least five and kimberly's missing a watch we'll find something else for you kimberly libby says no index cards how do y'all not have index cards I have these uh-oh and it says oh okay we were gone for just a second apparently because you know facebook can't let me have this for the whole hour without some little glitch okay so but did everybody did everybody have at least one except for my people that were at the grocery store except for Haley, who's at the grocery store did everybody have at least one did everybody have at least one of the nine items Okay, hopefully you're going to say yes, because I only have five minutes left to talk. Okay, so I just want to let you know, according to, psychology to, uh, according to Psychology Today, these nine things, the nine things that you just went and found, can improve your mental health today. So they can improve your mental health today. Okay, do you want to know how? Does anybody want to know how? Okay, item number one, your inspirational t-shirt. So... They say if you will tell yourself something positive, if you'll just tell yourself something positive today, that can actually increase your mental health. So I know, bravo, we had a meeting today. Um, somebody had uh, participated in a fundraiser. Somebody else ran in a marathon. Somebody else did something else at church. So just finding your t-shirt and remembering what the great thing was that you did that got you that t-shirt, whether you bought it, whether you earned it whether you participated, whether you were a sponsor in it, whatever, whatever, however, for whatever reason that you got that t-shirt, you can check off item number one because you are telling yourself something positive today by pulling out that t-shirt and just looking at it. And if you wear it, maybe you'll tell somebody else something positive. Even if you're six feet away, maybe they can, maybe they can read it. Number two, um, we'll see. Number two is the index card. Okay, so an index card, a post-it note, something remember these are the these are nine things that psychology today say can improve your mental health today so this one is writing down something that you're grateful for so take the index card take the note card take the sticky note whatever um oh and marlene's got her purple bravo shirt um and write down something that you're grateful for today i'm grateful for our camping trip we would have never ever ever done that i am not happy about covid 19 i'm not happy about people dying i'm not happy about people being depressed and upset but my gosh i'm happy that we had an opportunity to do this so i'm going to write that down on my card so that's one thing that i'm grateful for today i'm grateful that we got to do that number three glasses and magnifying the reason i said you get bonus points if you had a magnifying glass because this will actually make more sense with the magnifying glass number three is to fo focus so focus on one thing in the moment so try not to let your mind go here 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 there's lots of things to worry about there's lots of things to you know to think about there's lots of things to get overwhelmed with so just try to get your mind try to focus every time you see your glasses or every time you see your magnifying glass try to focus on just one thing that you can work on right then and it will improve your mental health number four was your tennis shoes or sneakers or exercise shoes or whatever you call them exercise so exercise i think we all know this we've had enough chats about exercise to let us know that that helps your mental health you know in addition to your physical health number five eat a good meal okay all y'all that have been here the last two weeks have been collecting food you've been collecting just two weeks worth of food you've not been panicking now's the time to sit down and have a good meal that means not just snacking on candy that means not just snacking on chips sitting down and having some real food even if it's just a small thing of food even if it's just heating up a lean cuisine or a smart ones and adding some vegetables to it but sit down and have a good meal it can increase your mental health to today like right now like who was my table setter just a few minutes ago you are going to increase your mental health because y'all are getting ready to sit down and eat a meal okay number six the phone the phone open up to someone so if you're having a really really hard time with this um if you are struggling if you're especially if you're getting really 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 upset about it um if you really need to talk to someone call someone i'm not talking about you can text that's fine you can email whatever pick up your phone and call somebody okay call someone do it today even if you just call to check on somebody call to check on somebody you're doing it for yourself too um number 
let's see, number seven with stickers. Number seven is do something for someone else. So if you have a lot of stickers, if you live in a neighborhood, how about go put, sorry, we have neighbors of the dog today. If you have stickers, how about go put some sticker, no, it was outside. How about go put some stickers in mailboxes, you know, in the neighborhood where the, you know, where the kids live, you know, because they're at home bored. So everybody thinks, oh, they're here driving me crazy, but they're home bored too. So get some stickers, go put them in their mailboxes. If you go buy an assisted living place or somewhere where people are sheltered in and they can't get out, stickers, everybody loves stickers. So doing something for someone else can raise their mental health today and your mental health today. Number eight is take a break. So what the bubbles, the puzzle, the books, all of that stuff, that was to take a break today. The reason I said I'd only let you look at your Kindles and things if you didn't promise me not to go over to the news, I want you to take a break from the news. Even if it's just for five minutes, of course you all are taking a break right now, but even if it's just for five minutes, I want you to go work on your puzzle, I want you to read your book, I want you to go outside, blow some bubbles you can blow some bubbles in your home of course i'm gonna have stuff everywhere you know do something do something else take a break i promise i promise it will increase your mental health today and that's idea that's not increased but anyway number nine go to bed on time this is the weirdest phenomenon i don't know why but this whole covid 19 thing i have slept the best i have ever slept in this last two weeks i don't know why I have plenty to be nervous about, I've got plenty to be upset about, but I have slept better this last two weeks than I have in probably a year. And the only thing that Casey can figure out is because it's the first time in over a year that I have no control over any of this. I can't control any of this. And maybe my brain's going, hey, you know, I could wake you up and make you think about a thousand things, but there's nothing you can do about it anyway, so just go ahead and sleep. I'll just worry about something else later. But that's what this is for, is to set an alarm to remind yourself. And I would set it for at least an hour before you need to be in the bed. Because if you're like me, it's gonna go off and it's gonna take you an hour to go, oh, I still needed to put the dishes up or I still needed to clean up this or I still needed to lay clothes out or put my tennis shoes out or whatever. So set an alarm for about an hour before you need to be in bed, going to bed on time, even if you don't stay in bed, but going to bed on time is going to raise your mental health today. Okay, so I want to say it's 9.02, so thank you for hanging in with me for the extra couple of minutes, but congratulations, congratulations, you just did your homework. So remember at the end of the first half when I said I wasn't going to tell you what your homework was, it's because you just did it. So everybody that had at least one item, so everybody that had at least one item, or if you're at the grocery store, Haley, and you need to go back home, if you have at least one item and you do at least one of these things today, then you just did your homework, okay? So, for completing your homework with us here live, Casey has created you another free printable download. That's like, is that two in two weeks? It's at least two in three weeks. But another free printable download, and this one, let me, I gotta show it to you real quick. Don't go to bed yet. A lot of you all are saying not, not. Hold on just a second. You can wait for one more second. This is for my mental health. Just kidding. So Casey has created you all a mental health sticker or badge. Oh, and I hope you can see that. So she has created you all a mental health badge or sticker, however you want to use it. And you can get that on if you have an egg.com. Go to the um, go to the website, go to if you have an egg.com, go to shop, and then go to the printable downloads and go to the mental health sticker. And she has created you a, it's free, so, but you have to use code HEALTH, H-E-A-L-T-H. Did I spell that correctly? H-E-A-L-T-H, yeah. Use the code HEALTH, and you can download those for free. Use them for yourself, use them for your friends, send them to somebody, um, post them, do whatever you want to do, you know, with them. That is for your mental health, so that is for you taking care of you, so congratulations, you did your homework, you get your free mental health sticker, um, and Alicia, you can get the Bravo shirts on spread shirt and you can get them in whatever color you want because you tell it what color you want. But anyway, so congratulations on doing your homework. Even though you've already done your homework, please tag me in it um, if you do any of these. And especially, that would be hilarious if you all did the picture of all of your items gathered together. <coughs> but please tag me in those. Please tag me in your homework. Remember, I can't talk about your homework next week if you don't tag me in it. But you all have an amazing week. I promise someday, I don't know what day it will be, but someday this will all be done. We'll all be back together again. And in the meantime, we will keep doing this. But y'all have an awesome week. Take care of your mental health. I will see you next week. 
Um, if you are, <coughs> and this is it, <clears throat> sit for my voice. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please watch the next video. Or you can subscribe and remember to hit that little bell so you'll be notified next time. <coughs> Sorry. And the link to the spreadsheets are over here. Y'all have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Good night.